Hello and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add some cool games to your backlog. Uh, hey, we are here with a new one called Frankenstorm. This is a uh, tower defense game that popped up on my radar screen on the, uh, on the Twitters. And uh, I said, hey, you know, it's been a long time since I've played one of these. Let's... Uh, Let's see what we can't do. So um, I spent a little bit of time with this so that uh, I had some semblance of an idea of what I was doing. Uh, I still would not call myself an expert, but uh, eh, let's see what we can do here. So we're basically trying to protect the, I don't know, the evil doctor um, and the Frankenstein creation that uh, he's working on. And along the way, we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some juicy upgrades. So basically, these guys are gonna walk this green path, and they're gonna turn around, and they're gonna head this way. Uh, there's something to do. I haven't totally figured this out with uh, something with those uh, generators that, that happens. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're a little bit speedy. I, I sped them up uh, in my last run. How are they getting through? I'm slow them down a little bit for now. Okay. So each time uh, we get through, we're gonna we're gonna get to choose an improvement. Um, some of these are help me hurt me though, as you'll see. You know, this is something good, and then oof. Uh, so let's for now let's go with the wire expansion and uh, continue building upon this push this path out a little bit more. Then eventually we're gonna get more of these uh, towers, of course. Huh. We'll speed them up just one. There we go. One switch, what? Yeah, that's okay. They've gotta walk the whole path. <laughs> I have to say, I do uh, I do like the, uh, the voiceover work. Um, I don't know if this is somebody from the dev team or somebody they hired, but uh, I, I quite like it. All right, um, I am partial to the wires and continuing to push that path back. Okay, and then eventually we'll put some uh, put some powers over there. What? Shields giving in? It's okay. Okay, we'll be all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, minus five percent enemy life, but they're gonna go faster. Let's let's go with the hit damage. Best of luck. To shields are giving in. That's oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, well, we're going to go wire some towers for sure. So let's throw... Actually, let's take... Let's, let's take a different approach here. Um, I'd like to make it wavy like this. We can create some, uh, some nice choke points. All right. Okay, so now let's throw the powers on. It's nice because I'm trying to keep them where they can hit both paths effectively. Do we have one more? Ah, no, we're out. Okay, uh, let's see how that goes. You know, there was a game, uh, I'm just trying to think about the last time I played a tower defense game like this, and there was a game on the iPad that both my mom and I were just addicted to. Um, I'm going to set it up that way. Uh, and they made they made a few of them. Um, only one switch. Cannot remember the the name of the light game, but it's, it's quite popular. Okay, that's working really well. Wow, plus two towers. Let's go with that. Uh, we'll put one over there, and I guess we'll just 
Hold him up. Yeah, let's let's go let's go with that. All right. But uh, yeah, I used to like these games quite a bit. There was another one that I just recently played on the channel too, where it was a combination of. Uh, wow, we're getting lucky with the extra towers. It was a combination of uh, an action uh, roguelike and tower defense game where you were kind of putting towers down. Um, let's bring this up a little bit more here. Okay. Uh, and then you would, you know, go through the, uh, the battle process from there. Oh, it was fun too. I, I used to really the like tower defense is games. <laughs> wow, more towers. Ooh. Oh, two towers. This is, uh, this is going super well. Uh, let's put one right over there, and let's do one right over there. You know, as long as they continue down the same path, shields are giving in. We're gonna be able to pull down pretty long here. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised they're giving us all these towers. It's awesome. Put one right over there. It's only one switch. What? Shields Something satisfying in. about just, you know, <laughs> being able to relax <laughs> while the towers do the work. Uh, let's... Not crazy about dodge chance, but enemies have plus 8% chance to spawn as a hawk that flies above wires and has minus 50% base life. Uh, As long as the hawk is going to get hit, I think that's okay. I guess we're going to see what these hawks do. Maybe. Stick to more what? Shields giving in? Stay back! Stay back! <laughs> All right. I want to thank the uh, developer too for giving me an opportunity to try this out. Okay, uh, oh, we've got an additional tower as well. Um, you know, let's, let's pop it over here. Might as well give him a good old blast in the beginning. It's only one switch. Oh, there's the hawk. Ah, the shield is weak. Okay. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> Perfect. Um, plus five hit damage. Uh, let's go with this. Should keep us on top. Oh, there's another what? hawk. Shields giving in. The hawk seems to go down pretty, pretty quickly, though. I don't think they're that durable. Perfect. Um, kind of leaning towards. Well, I think this would be good too. All right, let's do that. And then maybe next time we'll go wire. So I'm again. Uh, only one switch left. They almost seem like they're getting a little bit faster. The shield is maybe? down. I guess I should know that because I'm, I'm picking the help me hurt me. All right, let's go wires. Um, let's swing them around again. Create some choke points here. All right. Trying to hurt me. What? Shields giving in? There Stay back. Go. Stay back. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Not bad. Um, don't really want to spawn fruits. Uh, let's go wires again. Just kind of continue along this path. But you know what, though? There we go. We'll bring them back so they can get hit by the uh, bottom ones, too. I wasn't even thinking about this. Nah, only one switch left. Huh. No! The shield is down! So that off got a little bit further that time. I don't know if I should be concerned about that. Plus 13% attack radius, that's kind of nice. 
Plus 3% chance when hit to gain 5% of their max life as shield. Alright. Yeah, um, you know what? We're, we're gonna do that. Let's get some additional radius. Why not? We got more minutes. Only going. one switch left. Perfect. I saw the shield happen. Stay back. This guy. This is gonna work out okay. We gotta get some towers up along here. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's let me think about some tower action over there. Let's not go too far out. Okay. Looks like I have some additional wire to set up as well. Oh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I think. Oh dear. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Um, plus 9%. Tower have plus 4% chance to attack plus 1 times. Oh, that's nice. They're going to get some regen, huh? Okay, so let's go this way. So they can get banged up over here a couple times too. The shield is weak. Yeah, here they come. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, not, not great. Uh oh. Oh shite. Curses. <laughs> Curses indeed. Um. Uh, all right. I don't, so I think there's a meta progression system that happens here where you can salvage, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. I have to have salvage points, which I think I would have opened up uh, through those upgrades. So here we go. Salvage points are used at the end of a game, letting you salvage doodads to use permanently. You hold on to any salvage points. Okay. All right. So let's exit. All right. Uh, so let's try again. I think if we make it harder to for them to get to the switches, you know, let's see. A line appears during the wiring phrase. Show the order. All right. Well, I like that. Uh, the area backgrounds kind of change up randomly. Were we in a grocery store or some kind of some kind of a bazaar? Uh, all right, so let's let's like let's go like this and block that out. Actually, I don't I don't like how that's set up. So let's get rid of this. Okay. All right, so I mean, in theory. We've blocked them now in two spots. Theory, right? Um, they're starting to huh? square up. Oh. Okay, so they're going to knock both of these out, and then they're going to have a really tough time getting to this one. That's the good news. Um, so tower there. Tower here. Power here, there, and there. You know, I think this is uh, this is going to be a harder area. Um, don't block enemies from reaching switches on the altar. Flashing wires. Okay. Don't block enemies from reaching switches or the altar. Flashing wires can be reclaimed to ensure a path. Oh. If I prevent access, they may form alternative strategies. Let's keep them dumb. Got it. Okay, so I can't block them, which I guess seems fair. Uh, so, let's maybe rethink this. Um, so, we'll go like that, maybe, and just push them out. 
like to get closer to their original path so I can blast them. So I guess that works. Okay. Uh, maybe... Okay. Let's try that. One switch down. Okay, that's alright, that's alright. It's just the start. Um, let's go speed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tis but a switch. I'm gonna need more wire. Uh, minus three percent. Okay, that sounds good. One switch down. What? Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. All right. Impudent peasants. Okay, so we're gonna get plus two towers. As Only an one switch left. <laughs> okay. Hard not to do that every single time. Um, so let's do that and uh, let's double up over here. Yeah. Tis but a drop in an ocean of switches. Okay. Only one switch left. <laughs> All right. Let's go wires. And uh, let's see, so we can't block them, but we can get close to their path at least. Um, oh, that's it. All right. And then we'll just put guns along the One way. switch down. There. How are they getting through? Boy. Stay back! <laughs> okay. Plus four wires. I'm gonna go just towers again. Um, let's, let's pop one over there. Okay. You're all seeing uh, why I don't play it's these types of games switch. as often. I'm, I'm not great at them. At least I don't think I'm great. The shield at them. is weak. Uh, there's probably a much better uh, yeah. strategy uh, than what I'm doing, but I'm having a good time. I'll say that. You know, it's a it's a very simplistic game. Um, I could absolutely see a case for sitting back, sipping a coffee, and uh, you know, just having a good old time with this. You know, the nice thing down, is, it's, uh, try again. it's got a lot of hands-free moments, right? Um, so, a good business case for coffee drinking <laughs> game. Which, <laughs> let's be honest, we like that on this channel. Uh, let's set up some additional attack opportunities eventually. Okay. Powers coming. Okay, more it's wires. only one switch. Come on, try hard. Ah, the shield is weak. Ah, here they come. <laughs> so you know they got to run past this spot twice. I think that's a good opportunity to just load that up. Um, so let's, you know what, actually, I wonder if they've got to come back down here if I do that, then. I'm just not sure. One switch down, good luck! We'll find out. Only one switch left. Maybe there's a way to kind of bend their no! path a little bit. The shield is down! With the wire. Because this yeah. is really my kill zone right there. It's, uh, it's becoming super clear. Um... Wait a second, so if we back this out, is there a way to kind of like bend this? No, they're not gonna allow that. Uh, hmm. 
All right, so. Well, we could just make them go straight, and then they're getting hit the whole time. If I'm understanding everything right, which I think I am. Okay. No matter, one switch down. Let's see how we do here. What? Shields giving in? Putting guns along this would be quite helpful. Just make this whole area a kill zone. <laughs> Okay. I, I'm good on wires at this point. Wave spawn plus one scientist that every six seconds disable tower. Oh, I don't think we want to disable any towers. We'll just go like that. So we get two more of those plus two towers coming. That's going to help quite a bit. I can see a case for uh, right up here. So going to go all the way back. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, shite. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So, um, this is a cool game. This is a cool little game. Um, let's go one more. Let's go one more round. I'm not going to lie, it's it's addictive. I thought I was going to go one more and that was going to be the last one, but uh, the game's setting the hooks a little bit. And now I see many potential for improvements. Yeah, no kidding. An enemy can run in between two wires on diagonal grids. Okay. Between two wires. All right. So they're going to come that way first. All right, so why don't we go along there. They're really gonna have a tough time. Just make their path a little bit longer, I think. Okay, so come along those lines. All right, so we just want to blast them the whole time. Let's go like this. Yeah. All right. One more. You know what? I could even see, well, right over there. Okay. That's, that's what I want to see. All right, uh, attack speed, let's go with that. Yeah, buddy. All right. Uh, five wires, one tower. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put one. Uh, let's blast them right in the beginning again. What do we want to do with this wire, though? Uh, yeah, so I think let's, let's push them out a little bit. And we'll go like that. See, now we can throw a tower over here as well. <laughs> and, yeah, let's, okay, let's, let's keep going with that strategy. So just keep creating possibilities to hit them right when they come out of the tube. I, I think that might be an interesting way to go about it. Okay. Ooh, nice. Let's take that extra tower. Now let's pop it right over there. Okay. Just cover that whole line is the way I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Once. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's the first time they've knocked one out at all. Um, let's keep rocking here. It's only one switch. You gotta keep no in mind too that they have to come <laughs> all the way down there. Alright, uh, so. I think eventually. 
this will come in handy as well. Walk them back through here. Okay. Need some more towers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do that. And then you know what? We can go straight down and bring them around over here so that they've got to go all the way around to get that one. And if I can get enough towers, I, I think the strategy will work. One switch down! That's what it all comes down to. You can get the towers in here. All right. Um, well, I definitely want to keep hitting them early and often. Uh, let's go right there. And uh, I guess right there, too. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. One switch down! That's looking pretty good. Ah, yeah! Okay, attack speed. Let's see. That sounds okay. Additional wire. <laughs> Uh, let's do that. And then we'll just send these guys all the way back. Uh, okay. It's only one switch. It is nothing. How are they getting through? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um... Attack speed. I've still got two more of these. What? Right. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know how much these two kind of nullify each other at the end of the day. Right now, I don't see a strong case for more wires. I, I really need those. Okay. Two more where this came from. Ah, the shield is weak. Oh, shit. Is that it? No, the oh, no. They got to come all the way back. That's right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> All right, um, so I got a little bit further than I liked last time. So let's put one here and one there because it'll still nail them even if they're coming down there. There we go. Yeah, one switch down. Only one switch left. I like that the whole pack doesn't turn around. You know, if somebody nails this, they... For whatever reason, they still complete their, uh, you know, their movement. Enemy max life regenerate per second. That doesn't sound so good. Let's go with that. I don't want to give them regen. Only one switch. Is that all you've got? Uh, what? Now, if not, then I'm having to no! come back. The shield is down. Yeah, that that would be that would be a problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. Minus seven percent enemy resistance. These have plus nine percent chance to spawn as a hound. Oh, they're a lot faster though. Um, man. I guess we'll just go walkers. Okay. So let's push them out this way and make them go further. Uh, if I can, I'll, I'll take the wire all the way out to there. Eventually. Oh. 
So I think this is an interesting take on uh, tower defense meets roguelite action. Um, again, I don't know what the uh, meta progression looks like, but it does appear that you know you can use these salvage points <laughs> to uh, permanently improve stuff. Um, plus 18% hit damage. Enemies have plus 15% chance to spawn as a hawk that flies above minus 50% base life. I don't know. I, I think that's worth doing. All right. Hopefully it works out. I still got two more of these and a bunch on Leo with only one switch left. That's okay. That's okay. No! The shield is down! All right. Get those mothers. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. So let's, uh, I think we've got to come down here a little bit now. And I'll still blast them in the beginning. So will this one. So let's, let's go with that approach. And we're at wave 18. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent. First time we saw a hawk. Too. I don't know. I think these guys are pretty messed up by the time they get down here. Stay back! Stay back! Well, that's working as intended. Uh, I'm thinking wires this time. Plus three meter explosion radius. Enemies have plus 12% chance to spawn as a brute. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um. Let's take them, just take them down this way. Okay. And let's, let's rock. Oh, wow, we got two hawks now. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, okay, so the hawk still has to do the full, full ride? I can't tell. Extra, Stay back. extra guns for those hawks, I think. All right, so just go attack speed. Enemy and tower chance based effects occur plus four percent. No, I don't. I don't know about that. Um, let's go with the attack speed, I guess. Okay. One switch. So no hawk Try this time. hard. Ah, That's something. The shield is weak. These guys are looking pretty torn up. I don't know. This is this is uh, gonna be a no. close one. The shield is down. Oh boy. Ah. All right. Okay. All right. Oh shit. I don't know. Oh. Oh no. Oh. What? We made it a little bit further, though. Um, good deal. All right, so that's where I'm going to cut this one. Um, I think uh, I think I'm going to continue playing Frankenstorm. If if you like uh, tower defense games, I think this one's going to release. Uh, boy, I think uh, actually the 23rd or 24th um, on Steam. So. Yeah, give this one a look. I had fun with it. And uh, thanks again to the developer of this one. Uh, well, for number one, for creating it, but also for uh, allowing me to test it out and, and have some fun with it. All right, everybody. Well, you take care. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Goat Force Gaming Channel. Goodbye.